Rat haggard, tired, messy. Hair, makeup. <laughs> okay, now we are uh, at the, the tent from Ocean Rodeo, the Kitesurf World Cup of Zult. And we got some pretty good news. Aha, uh -huh, yes. We have? We do, yeah, <laughs> and we do. So, uh, yeah, there's a big change coming in in the kite market. Uh, some new f new materials, essentially. So for the last 20 years, the kite market's been using Dacron, uh, polyester ripstop for the canopy material, and polyurethane bladder material. And we haven't had a chance to uh, to really look at other other materials. So we're we're uh, going into a new era of of uh, a fabric called Alula that is just uh, brand new to the kite market. So you'll start to see Ocean Rodeo kites coming out in 2020 using the new Alula frame technology. Um, so what is that? Basically kites are being, the weights are being cut in half. The, uh, the airframe structure is twice as stiff, which is quite remarkable. And the actual fabric itself is, uh, is 10 times stronger. It's absolutely insane. So I'm betting people here at the show if they can rip a piece of a lula with all their strength and nobody's been able to do it. So essentially an unrippable material by bare hands. So this is a lula. Can you give me some um, examples? What's the difference between the weight and everything? Sure. Yeah. The, uh, yeah, exactly. It looks, it looks yeah. really different. It yeah. feels yeah. really different. Okay. And uh, how much is it in? Sure. Can you see this out here when I put my yeah, hand yeah, Okay. Nice. Sure. Excuse me. Yeah. So uh, essentially, Alula, the uh, weight of the material, we talk about it in grams per square meter. So the traditional materials we're using now on kites, the Dacron that's used on your leading edge and struts, it weighs about 150 grams per square meter. The Alula replacement fabric is coming in at about 70 uh, grams per square meter so a little less than half and again I say it's ten times stronger and twice as stiff and it is. Uh, the bladder material is also new from Alula and a typical polyurethane bladder film that we we use currently on our traditional kites is just over a hundred grams per square meter. Uh, Alula bladder film the base uh, material is 42 grams per square meter uh, it's a completely different type of, uh, of film and it actually works with the, the outer Alula composite. They work together to create that highly reactive uh, airframe. So um, just a really, really neat combination. And quite honestly, the kites, they're getting light, uh, they're getting stiffer. Where that leads in kite design, who, who knows? It's still early days, but the existing designs, what we're finding is the kites are becoming incredibly reactive. Uh, you, you basically, the power, because the kite doesn't stretch or uh, deform in wind, we're getting more power per square meter. So you can typically go down one size from what you're normally using. And of course the bottom end uh, is greatly improved. So we're, you know, we're seeing the kites are, are competing. A three strut, a three strut Alula airframe kite is as lighter than a uh, leading no strut kite right now, just to give you an example of what we're talking about here. So we're getting into the realm of, of even surpassing what a, uh, a ram air kite can do in light wind. Yeah, before we calculate uh, one 10 square meter kite, it was about, uh, what do you think, it was uh, 1.8 kilogram? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, so basically... Um, a normal three ride, three strut kite. It's normally regular um, about three, three and a half. Yeah, that's right. Three, three and a half kilos, and we're down. Uh, One point eight. We're down below two ki two kilos for a full three strut, fully reinforced with graphics, all the bells and whistles, uh, not holding back on any of the uh, abrasion layers or anything like that. That is a lot. It's a massive, massive sa savings in weight, and again, improvement in strength uh, uh, and a stiffer airframe. The other interesting thing is that we can also go to a lot higher pressures um, if we want to, but. You know, re really, because the material combination of the um, the outer la layer and the bladder combined is stiffer already, you don't actually have to go to a higher higher air pressure to get more stiffness in the airframe and more response. Uh, we've tested 
the struts, the, uh, the, the frames up to outrageous pressures. We've actually been trying to get them to fail to see what it'll uh, take. And what we're finding is the valves are exploding and the components are exploding, but the, the material itself holds completely at like 30 PSI. It's insane. It sounds like a shotgun going off when a piece fails. Uh, can you talk about the designer or the producer? Uh, who came up with the material? Yeah, so basically uh, it started actually with, uh, in uh, Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, it started with uh, a group of uh, like-minded outdoor enthusiasts, some of them kite, kite surf, uh, and the idea was to start to build lighter materials, primarily for kites, but also other, other projects. So it is a, a standalone uh, company uh, called Alula, Canadian-based. A um, bunch of mechanical engineers and chemists have uh, put this together and uh, we're very excited to be working very closely with them to bring it to the kite industry. Sounds good. Sounds really good. Thanks. When is the launch? The, uh, this is actually one week before we're, we're sort of doing a more official launch in, uh, in Tarifa next week. We'll have some samples of our new Rome kite, which is a free ride, three strut uh, foiling kite. It's, well, it's inflatable, but for free ride foiling, it's gonna come in under, under four pounds, so like 1.7 kilos for a 10 meter. And then we'll also have our new 14.5 flight there using Alula, which is uh, also extremely light. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be the rollout. We're gonna, we're gonna uh, by the start of 2020, it should, you should be seeing a lot of Alula out there in the market. Thank you very much. Thank you.